So I've had a few requests from people wanting to see details of the joystick that I made for my uh, flight sim setup. Uh, so here we go, we'll dive right in. Um, so I built this thing totally from scratch. The stick is all one and a half inch steel tubing. Uh, there's actually two sections, a larger radius and then a smaller radius here. Um, that was all TIG welded together so it looks pretty seamless. The grip is actually from an old Suncom F15 joystick, probably from the you know 90s, um, that I actually found for free uh, at my office in a dumpster. Um, so I used the grip and all the original switches and stuff, um, and I'll kind of show you how that's all wired up. Um, this whole thing is built on this little steel platform that goes into my SIM frame. Um, I'm not going to show details of that, but it's a pretty simple frame. Everything's modular, so I can bolt on different controls, whether I want the center stick or a side stick or car controls, all that swaps in just minutes. Um, but I fly with the center stick most of the time because I think it's the best. You know, it hinges at the floor, it's right between your legs. Uh, works really good. Um, so let's get into really the beauty here, which is the whole U joint. Okay, so now we're looking at the whole U joint. So it's kind of hard to tell. So the, the top stick portion comes down and has these four arms that come off, these little wings. Um, now these, I machined all these on my CNC mill. I have a small CNC mill. Um, so those are all cut, TIG welded onto the tube. And then the U-joint was also scratch built. And it's pretty hard to see it all in there, but basically there's a bearing on either side on this axis, bearing on either side on this axis. And then the spider, let's see if we can get a good shot in there. It's hard to see it in there, but there's two stainless steel uh, I think they're half inch um, steel rods that I turned down on the lathe and then cut a um, a slot through each one on the mill and then it bolts together um, so there's just this one single single bolt that holds the spider together in there but it assembles pretty easily um, and then on either end uh, or on a single end of each shaft I had to mill, you can kind of see it in there mill a tiny little slot and glued a little um, magnet in there, a little neodymium magnet, and then I'm using Hall effect sensors. Um, so there's a Hall effect sensor on this axis, if I can point to it, and then another one on this axis. Um, I'll put links to the Hall effect sensors, I think I got them on Amazon or something, they're super cheap, just a few bucks a piece. Um, and they work great, so basically you've got the Hall effect sensor and the magnet, and the Hall effect sensor is measuring the orientation of the magnetic field going through the Hall effect sensor. So it's super accurate, no jitter or anything, it works really good. Um, so the only thing that was kind of tricky is, um, you know, the bearings are super tight, but this arm of the stick flexed in a little bit, so I actually ended up with a little bit of side-to-side -side slop on the shaft. So what would happen is as you banked, you know, hard left or right, the whole thing would slip down, which then shifted the you know, this sensor, which is actually for the longitudinal pitch axis. So you'd bank hard left, and then it would snap, and all of a sudden the airplane would start pitching up, and then you'd bank right, and it would start pitching down. Um, so I don't really know what I could have done to design that a little better. Maybe just use some thicker steel so it wouldn't bend, but... My solution for now is I just made this little bracket, drilled and tapped a hole on the end of the shaft, and there's just... Basically this is applying tension, it's sort of a preload, so that there's no more slop. Now it's tight, fixed it, no issues. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, four springs, I played with the springs quite a bit. I wanted it super stiff. I don't know how much force it is at the stick, but it's, it's pretty stiff. It feels really nice. Um, so everything goes to this little Leo Bodnar board here. Um, and again, I'll put a link for that as well. It's a BU0836 board. Um, pretty cheap, pretty sweet little boards. I've used these for a couple of different, um, joystick builds. Um, and basically the Hall effect sensors go to the two analog inputs and then you've got um, a bunch of digital inputs for all the switches and stuff. So what was nice with the Suncom stick is I didn't have to do any custom wiring or anything. Just basically soldered wires right to the switches on the existing circuit boards. Ran those straight to the board and it's just USB plug and play and it all works. Um, pretty sweet. And then this uh, shift boot is just, you know, cheesy generic car shift boot I found just to cover everything up and it seems to work okay. Um, 
Only thing that's a little dorky is the Leo Bodnar board just kind of sits on the floor, you know, with the USB plugged into it. At some point I'd like to build a little plastic or metal case for it to at least keep it closed up a little bit better, but for now it works pretty good. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, put them in the comments, whatever. Um, always happy to talk about this stuff. Pretty pleased with this stick. I've been using it for, you know, two years now and it's pretty bulletproof. Talk to you guys later.